Bernard Rimland, Wikipedia article audio Bernard Rimland, Ph.D. was an American research psychologist, writer, lecturer, and advocate for children with developmental disorders. Based in San Diego, California, since 1940, Rimland was the founder, in 1967, and director of the Autism Research Institute, and founder of the Autism Society of America, in 1965. Rimland was long an internationally recognized authority on autism spectrum disorders, and was the father of a high-functioning autistic son. Education and Early Career Conflicts with Medical Opinion After completing his undergraduate studies at San Diego State University, Rimland obtained his Ph.D. in Experimental Psychology and Research Design, from Pennsylvania State University in 1953. Rimland's son, Mark, was born in 1956, when autism was a rare and poorly described diagnosis. From birth, however, something was drastically wrong. Rimland had recently earned his doctorate, but was not yet familiar with the word autism. Only much later was it determined Mark's condition fell into the category of early infantile autism, rather than regressive autism. Despite challenges, Mark became a talented artist. After his son's diagnosis, Rimland set forth on a quest to understand autism, and bring much needed attention to the disorder, in order to foster research into its causes and treatment. Rimland has often sparked controversy along his way. Rimland published his book, Infantile Autism, The Syndrome and Its Implications for a Neural Theory of Behavior, in 1964. Its foreword, by Leo Kanner, the man who first identified autism as a syndrome, gave the book credibility among professionals in the field. It was an about turn for Kanner, the originator of the word autism and of the refrigerator mother theory, through his observations and research, Kanner had come to believe that autism had a neurological cause the accepted view in the medical profession today. But at the time Rimland's book was published, and for many years afterwards, a common theory was that autism was caused by unloving refrigerator mothers an unproven but widely accepted idea most famously propounded by University of Chicago professor Bruno Bettelheim, notably in his book The Empty Fortress, Infantile Autism and the Birth of the Self, which claimed that the traumatized unloved child retreated into autism. As a professional research psychologist, Rimland was well positioned to launch the first major attack on Bettelheim's theory. Rimland's was the first authoritative voice to dispute Bettelheim's research and call into question his conclusions. Parents from all over the United States, excited that, for the first time, a professional in the field did not accuse them of maltreating their autistic child, began to write to Rimland. He called a meeting in Teaneck, New Jersey, at the house of one of the families, and this small group of parents, including Ruth C. Sullivan, became the nucleus that founded the Autism Society of America. A Brush with Hollywood Many senior figures in medicine and psychology questioned Rimland's contributions to autism during the later period of his career. In 1995, Bennett Leventhal, a professor at the University of Chicago, tersely dismissed as rubbish Rimland's concern about the rise in autism diagnoses, and his assertion that vaccinations might be among the causes. Rimland was among a minority of researchers who believed that thiamersal was a direct cause of autism. The United States Institute of Medicine in its 2004 report found that, 
the body of epidemiological evidence favors rejection of a causal relationship between thimerosal containing vaccines and autism. The Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, National Health Service, World Health Organization, European Medicines Agency, Food and Drug Administration, Centers for Disease Control, and many other national and international medical organizations have issued statements of a similar nature, finding no link between autism and thimerosal based on the evidence currently available from a variety of studies. Rimland lectured on autism and related problems throughout the world, including before thousands of professional groups, and he was the author of numerous publications. His high profile, within what was then a small community of autism activists, caught the eye of movie producers in nearby Hollywood, California. Miscellany Rimland subsequently served as the primary technical advisor on autism for the 1988 movie Rain Man. Mark Rimland was interviewed by Dustin Hoffman, serving as one of several models for the character portrayed by the movie star. The movie helped establish worldwide awareness of autism, just when the prevalence of autism was first becoming apparent. Rimland was the editor of the Autism Research Review International, published by ARI, which covers biomedical and educational advances in autism research. Rimland and his wife, Gloria, before Rimland's death in 2006, celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. The couple was married by Rabbi Monroe Levins of Tefereth Israel Synagogue, which was then located in Kensington, California. Books